Alright, so we are going into uncharted territory. We're heading towards whatever the hell this is. I can't even tell. I can zoom in, but it goes off screen. So it's like right on the edge. I wonder if the, um, how the art style for the level looks has any correlation to the difficulty of the area. I doubt not. Like, it seems to me like they just wanted to have something that works well for just aesthetic purposes. But you never know. Right, so I want to create a raft below this thing. But it seems easier said than done. Like, I, I so simply want to just push over that log, but I'm wondering if I ever might need it. So I'm not going to do it just yet. Well, this actually may be helpful. This actually might be very helpful. Because that can just serve as a blockade. And yeah, okay, we can set up a raft. Oh, no! I should have just set up the raft. Whoops. I could not do it in that order. Had to do it like this. Not a big deal, though. The Snowland. Well, if I've learned anything from Snakebird, Snowlands are sketch as hell. And this seems to be the furthest south that we've pretty much gone. Alright, so let's go right first. I guess I could create a raft-like thing, which seems solid. I might just knock this over here and then push this and then knock this into here. Seems pretty good to me. A garden spoon. This garden spoon actually serves a dual purpose in the museum. Right now it is functioning as an exhibit in its own right. England landers used them to poke holes in their gardens. But sometimes we loan it out to archaeological sites so monsters can use it to dig for even more human objects. Of course, a spoon so we can consume the cereal of the earth. Alright, some more simple log stuff. Nothing too shabby right now. Uh, that island to the right we can't access currently. Ah, uh, yes, so another game of addition. One plus two. So, there's a gap of three right here, which I'm eyeing. And I can't just push this log in here because I... Well, I guess I don't know for sure that I can't do it. Maybe a log can push another log in water? Uh, honestly, this seems more and more sketch the more I try it. But what about this? <gasps> it creates a raft! It's it, it, it chops the log, I suppose. Cool little uh, interaction. More iced nuggets. I was going to guess this was a snowy pine cone. Humans favored the consumption of iced nuggets during hot periods, but this museum's curators have discovered that the nuggets last far longer in cold environments. Perhaps summer scarcity made the delicacy into a status symbol, symbol during heat waves. Well, let's keep moving around. Oh, hey, it's a bench. I can actually sit here. All right, it seems like it's just an observation bench. Bench. It's nice for mood setting. I wasn't gonna watch that all day. I figured if they wanted to do something, it would have already been done. Uh, interesting looking island. So I can. Oh, I can't travel through there. That's right. I wonder if I want to use this single log to allow myself to get on the other end of that long log, like so, and then use this area to be able to push it over. This seems pretty good. The Bird Snack Bar. Besides bathing facilities and res residential services, humans would also commonly offer birds free snack bars in their gardens. These eateries also attracted squirrels, so humans sometimes hired ravens to act as bouncers and chase the rodents away. Right, so am I creating another raft? What do I think the move is going to be? I, th I guess I could pretty easily create another raft. Not bad. And push off. Another area with more fast travel. So there's a snowman area, and this probably connects to all that pretty easily. How many puzzles have we done so far? At least 100 now, right? Or maybe get, uh, maybe if not 100, we're getting pretty close. I mean, to be fair, a lot of them are like gimmies, but... So what's the deal here? Well, I could create a raft or I could create some sort of... Um... I actually don't even know what else I could do, in all honesty. I think I'm just going to set this up right now so I can push this over. And then create a raft that I can't push off of or anything. Bike time! <laughs> it's a mobile laundry rack. On breezeless laundry days, human added wheels to their drying racks and rode back and forth to generate a wind effect. As well as drying the clothes faster, laundry day thus also increased cardiovascular fitness and saw an uptick in visits to neighbors. I'm not entirely sure how I'd like to do this. Going down is probably out of the picture. It looks like I'm going up and to the left. Um, here's how I want to do it. Here's how I want to do it. I'm going to push this over here. Uh, and then set this up over here. 
so I can roll this over here and then go around and then, you know, the rest of the story. For some reason, that tree looked taller than other two sized trees. I can't say why. The tree wants to be pushed to the left, but I guess I'm just going to push it down for now. Let's check out this before I probably reset the level. A cat jetpack. At some point in the 2100s, a human amateur scientist invented a feline jetpack to offer a greater range of movement to their pet cats. The cats immediately use it to ascend 15 feet and scratch at the upstairs windows instead of those on the ground floor. I want to just go down, I think. And I want to go here. So I can set this up here, move it over. I don't like that. <laughs> What I may like is actually this, because then I can go here and then push it in if I so want. I'm just not sure what I want to do with this log. There's a lot of things I could do with this log. It almost feels like an unnecessary log, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if I could preserve this log somehow instead of just doing this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fine. It's fine for now. I'm not going to get too creative. Maybe I, that's just good enough. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's not losing, I suppose. I guess I'll put this in the water. I don't know. I, I'm going on a journey. It's quite the... It's... I should have seen that coming. So let's back up. At, oh, I might just reset. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to move this over one so that I can do this to here. I feel like this was close. There's always this classic move. This one might be a little bit better, huh? Yeah, that seems a lot better. And it also seems, dare I say, simpler, but, uh, you know, that's fine. We got a raft. All right, these lands definitely seem harder than the earlier ones. Like, we're dealing with larger amount of space, larger amount of logs. So here's what I'm thinking. I take this, I push this in the water, and I push this a little bit wrong. You know, I'm not going to worry about those right now. I'm going to go this way and check out whatever the hell that is, huh? How would I like to do this? As always, keep up the YouTube content. Oh. Love the random indie game adventure you are on. Mostly reliable slot machine. Human gambling machines came in several forms. This is a type of slot machine where the human would insert money and try to win a snack. Players had a 78% chance of winning. Perfect for humans seeking mild financial peril. So I guess I'm going up. What am I doing with this though? Let me reset this right now while I think about this. Maybe something more like this. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this. Like, this guy, it's like you knock him over and then he's just kind of there. It's like going up or down. Maybe it's over here sort of deal. Unless if I think I can work with that log somehow. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I can do some interesting stuff. I, I partially want to go down to the island down below. Let's see. Let's see how easily I can access the island. Well, I I actually can't quite go on it. So I want to go up. So, I mean, I obviously got to start by pushing this way. And then this maybe shouldn't be knocked over like that. Maybe I could do something like this. Whoops. I don't know how I feel about that. It's certainly interesting. Can I ride on this at all? No, I can only go to here. I don't know, man. This one's, this one's strange. There's only so many options I have. I could try moving it this way. Uh... That's a little better. I've done a thing. These two trees, they're just getting to me. Okay, next. So now we gotta deal with this. So, um, oh. I think I see it. Let go. Alright, so we've made it here, which means we can now cross over here. But it's not quite the side we want to be crossed on. That's fine. So I want to be on the right side of that island. But I also want to check out the love seat. Mm -mm -mm. I want to get this tree out of the way. It's just so... Wait, I got it. Figured it out. There's the raft. Now we're here. Hover sofa. Instead of trying to run the gauntlet of a toddler's human floor-based arsenal of brightly colored plastic traps, caregiving humans began to invest in hover sofas. These levitating couches would simply glide over the detritus. All right, so that doesn't quite explain how I'm meant to get up here. Or not explain, sorry. It doesn't um, let me do that. And I would like to do that. All I can do right now is this. 
Yeah, I want to get on the right side of this island without knocking over the tree this way, specifically, just so y'all know. That's the idea. At least I'm pretty sure this is what I want to do. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. Maybe this island just works on its own. Maybe I don't need to do any meta stuff. <gasps> oh, I figured it out. Okay. Yeah, this island does work on its own. What does this actually do for me? Wait, wait. It lets me push this here. That's what it does. And you'll love to see it. Fast travel. Where are we? We're heading up towards the roller coaster and the whole ass amusement park. Sick. Let's keep moving then. To the right we go. It's a heart shaped heart. The rise in online surgery tutorials and medical influencers led to a boom in amateur human surgery. One pro popular procedure was heart augmentation, which transformed the complex asymmetrical human organ to look more like a neat cartoon heart. I swear to God, if my surgeon ever starts taking selfies and twerking while operating on me, it's, it's lights out. There's just no going back. I hope I, we never re the, reach those dark times. Here's what I'm thinking needs to be done. We probably again want to bridge this gap. It's probably isn't it because we just had to do it. Thing is though, we don't have that many more options here. I could do this though. And now we're up. That is the sound of me relieved after solving that puzzle. Interesting that that tree is inaccessible. What the hell am I supposed to do with that tree? We have to again bridge this and then use this tree, I guess. Let's see. I don't know which way to go. Um, hold on. Does this get me there? No, actually. All right, so let's back it up. Maybe make a, I guess I could do a raft. I guess I could just launch myself north. Oh, all right, here's the roller coaster. Welcome to roller coaster land. Nice, nice, nice. Let's check this out. Get a little bit a better view of the whole roller coaster, but still not much more. All right, so we're gonna push this down and then over and then up and then over here. Uh, I did something a little bit wrong. Let me actually use the raft to my advantage here, huh? Okay. Let's go down first. Keep it simple. Okay, what do we got? Scream if you want to go faster. England's roller coasters were told to scream if you want to go faster. Perhaps the coaster organism was hard of hearing and needed loud instructions so it knew when to speed up. Also, the trains look like Cosmic Express a little bit. There's space trains. This is a gap of three right here. We got two big trees. Little sus. Let me try something like this. What is this actually? Oh, it hits the stump. Yeah. I might just reset. Doing something else, this, else with this tree. Maybe just having it here for now. So I can easily push it down. Doesn't seem right. Just not feeling it right now. But it feels maybe close. Feels maybe close. I think I'm doing a lot of good moves. They're just not in the correct order. So something more like here. Bring this around. Come around to over here. Push this. Like it seems like I almost need to make a raft. Like this. Aha! Uh -huh. Thought so. Keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. Presumably, this was to prevent other fairground humans from mistaking the coaster for a terrifying, gigantic, multi limbed creature. Where am I going now? <sighs> Maybe making another raft? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there's so there's so much information overload that I don't I don't even know what I want to do. That's the thing with open world stuff, you know? I wonder, can I push a tree onto a raft? Um, uh, well, this isn't the best way to test it. Whoops. I might just do this instead, but maybe I could potentially put a log on the raft in the future. Yeah, for like a triple raft. Exactly. Nice, the other leg of the roller coaster. We can almost see the whole thing now. It seems like we're just non-stop making rafts. This is the raft world. All right, so it seems like we want it here. So let's just do it. It's gonna roll off to here. Little sketch. Let me just reset this right now. Something I could do is this. 
to create a dual raft with no real purpose. Wait, well, actually, this could be helpful. Maybe I could push back here. And, oh! Down we go. Ho, 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 ho! You can even push against the pillar of the roller coaster, technically. All right, well, let's check out this. You must be this tall to ride the coaster. The coaster refused to waste its time on interactions with very small humans. This may have been related to force mass and acceleration. Larger humans weighed more and thus helped the coaster gain an exciting amount of momentum. See, that's what's nice about being a lot of pounds. Now, it's not as noticeable on roller coasters, but whenever I go on water slides, they go fast. They go fast. You put me on a tube, that thing is going like twice the speed as it normally would. I do love me some water slides, at least personally. Right, so what's the deal? What am I even doing here? I I'll come back to the area in a sec. I'm actually not sure what the goal is. Let's just uh, explore around a bit more. Oh, okay, there we go. We've gone full circle. All right, so now all we have is this island with the two trees. I mean, I imagine I want to make yet another raft. So let's, I guess, do it and see what happens. I wonder if there's, like, any spots that you can get with a raft that the devs didn't plan for you to go to. I wonder if you could get really creative with your raft movement somehow. Right, so it seems like I would want the raft up here. I see another area for a raft. There. Let's see where this takes me. Hmm, to there. Do you think there's a dead end? Well, hold on, I can keep pushing myself. Can I push while on riding? No, I can't. That might just be the whole area. Well, either way, I can look at this through here now. Yeah, you can see the whole roller coaster. I don't actually see any other... Well, I guess there's this. Oh, you know what? We're probably supposed to create a raft that can let us go to there. Maybe, maybe this area will let me go? Technically, I don't know yet. Either way, we've gone such a far distance. It all started here, and now we are just everywhere. We'll have to hit up that carousel next. All right, so what's the deal with this cloud? Pet cloud. After years spent attempting to control the weather, humans successfully domesticated clouds. These fluffy pets are still around today. They require a damp cupboard in which to nest, regular steam feeds, and a saucepan in which they can rain. Check yearly for cases of rainbow worm. Let's go left. Looks like we maybe want a raft. Um, yeah. Looks like we do, and looks like we're coming back to this area another time. It was kind of the same area, a little bit. It's also got fast travel. So here's what I'm thinking needs to be done. Well, let me do this, maybe. Wait, uh, no. That's not quite it. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm wondering what order I did and how I can change it up. This feels really close. This feels insanely close. Because I am trying to go up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, oh, fuck. I need to do undo steps. That's what needs to happen. Hold on. So this needs to be here. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I know I need to undo something, but I didn't know how much. All right, we're good. Goldfish bowl. These gossip-loving fish were intensely curious about human activity and could not stand feeling out of the loop. Humans thus had to store them in completely clear containers to ensure they always had a good view of any interesting drama. All right, let's just go up for now. Dude, I'm waiting to find the three high trees. That's what I'm getting hyped for. You know, these two high trees are nice and all, and they make for good mechanics, but where's my giant tree? Um, so what gives? I can set this up if I wish, and then do a log. Not what I wanted, but probably what I deserve. So I could push this way if I wanted to as well. Honestly, it seems like it makes the most sense when I push here and then over because it gives me more space to work with. How about this? Tree. Interesting little small island. Not suspicious, I don't think. The perfect chameleon. Human experts famously poo-pooed the idea of a perfectly camouflaged chameleon. In fact, one species was easily capable of such transformations, but it was simply not detectable by humans. 
These creatures flourished inside human homes, secretly becoming the most common hu human pet of all time. Alright, so I wonder if I want to create a raft. Let me take a look at my options. I mean, I gotta push this. Mm. And then there's that. I mean, there's only two ways I can... No, there's one way I can push it, right? And that is exactly up. So let me explore my options here. I could do this sort of I ideal. Which is very cool. You'll love to see it. Alright, so this is a nicely positioned tree to just fall and do absolutely nothing. So let's mess around with this big guy. So the tree actually kind of works as a bit of a... Wait a second. So a thing like this to allow me to create a little double bridge, sort of. Okay, here's some rocks. Maybe there's some raft action going on. Let's first set this up. Alright, so I think I'll do a raft here. This looks like a simple raft. Just sitting around. So let's go. Oh, it's the pet cloud area. Drat. Well, so what is, I guess that's here for fast travel-ish. I think I'm gonna just go down now and I'll come back to that area eventually. I maybe I'm missing something. The reason why is because I could just do this and head on over some other puzzles over here. And yet another raft. Jeez. This one's a little bit different though. So let me get this out of the way. Maybe even get this out of the way first. And then set this up here. Set this up here, then this up here. And then how do I get this side to get this in? Hmm. So what I think I'm going to do actually is pull some of this back. Uh, I'm doing this really strangely. I don't know how I feel about this. Because I could just load up the raft on the same side. And I definitely did way too many steps. But this is what I was trying to do. Another area of more fast travel. Oh god, this is a huge area to explore still. Dude, I feel like I'm going to be on this game for weeks just trying to get to each and every level. Like this area in the middle is going to be tough and all these are actually going to be, or there's going to be so many really challenging ones. There is an insane amount of content here and I have to push this here and I can only push this down. Maybe that's helpful, believe it or not. I guess it is helpful to get it out of the way so I can do this. Yeah, I guess that is one way to use the um, trees. Just get them out of the way. Creature containment ball. This human artifact seems to be derived from a pro popular cartoon series. This show featured a human child, a human child who threw balls like this one at rodents and shouted, I must collect all of them. All right, so I can do this with the log and then this. Then this. Um, I don't know how I feel about that raft. I feel uninspired. Right, of course. So, so I do want to push this over for a distance, but how far could it possibly... Wait, we can do this. And then just yeet it out of the way. There we go. Probably a bit, bit more difficult than it should have been. Guess we're going left. No choice. Um, these trees... Ah, I guess I can do stuff with these. I can do stuff like this. Um... Wait a second. Can I manage to... Oh, fuck. Put that there, and then watch this. Push and push. Love to see it. Oh, so I've been here before. This is the area where I got a little stumped. Oh, I can create a raft like this. Two big logs turning into two small logs and a raft. All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing more rafting here. There's not many ways I can push this log. What if I do this? Yo, now we're talking. I, I, I gotta say, this game really does make you feel pretty clever whenever you find the new raft solutions. And it's just so satisfying watching the journey go on. Though, this is a huge journey. What is going on? That was massive. Okay. Huh. Interesting. The music got ominous. I cannot exit. Well, I can, I can do this. But this, this is huge. What is this place? Alright, so we got some X's. Actually, this looks like the beginning. But here's the journey we took. Look at that. So these things look a lot like, where is it? The things we spawned in. 
Uh, so <laughs> what? Did we find our way to the end game already? What is going on? There's no way, right? If this is the end, there's, I mean, I'm obviously going to keep playing it because there's got to be so much more content. What is going on? There's a boat. How? Ooh, we can't actually do much, though. We have only one log and we can't we can't move around, but it shows us where the exit is. So that's sick. So I guess let's raft around. Maybe this will happen to send me in the right direction. Well, it sends me to here. Oh, and now I can I can fast travel to that. I can always go up here if need be. Anyways, let's explore this area. And keep that area in the back of our minds. 